Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. Back in October, the British and American air offensive against Germany was being conducted on a fairly modest level. Today, it has reached such a pitch that there lies before us, now clearly attainable, the glittering prize of air supremacy. During March 1944, Allied Air Forces were engaged in massive dogfights over Axis territory. American pilots were consciously attacking special targets with the purpose of luring the Luftwaffe into battle to defend them. Bitter air battles were fought over Germany today, fiercer than they've been for many weeks. The Luftwaffe came up after us with a punch that it reserves for the defense of its really vital targets. This is European invasion in the making. Not air raids, but full-scale air warfare. These marauders are leaving their British base in one of the hundreds of Allied operations which have just one objective, to obliterate the Luftwaffe. It is this systematic hammering that has cost Germany 725 fighter planes in a week and reduced her plane production by an estimated half. Contrary to news reports of the time, German aircraft production rose instead of falling. Although attempts to destroy Axis planes failed, Germany was losing trained pilots far more rapidly than they could be replaced. What's it like over France these days, Colonel Myers? It looks like a plowed field. We were down on the deck the other day looking for locomotives, and there were bomb craters all over the place. It's pretty awful. You mean much fighter opposition over France? No, not much. The spring of 1944 saw the Allied Air Forces cripple the French railway system. Allied bombers have hit German railroads and defenses in France for the 19th consecutive day, and the British spokesman estimates that the massive air offensive already has destroyed the ability of French and Belgian railways to fulfill the tremendous transport requirements of the German troops who will combat the Allied invasion. By June, French rail traffic had fallen 60%. When the cross-channel invasion began, Anglo-American forces completely controlled the air. I'm Ed Herlihy. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.